Hello everyone. Welcome back to Service Now Master. Today we are going to understand how to use get reference in client script service now. So whether you are experienced or a fresher in coding, it doesn't matter in terms of service now platform because it provides low code platform to be used. So I will go to my personal developer instance. So my requirement is like when I open or create a new incident record, then info message about the caller's email should be populated. For example, if I select the ITL user, then his email should be populated as an info message here. So for this, I will go to the client script, configure client scripts. From here, I will create one new client script. We have to give the name for this client script. I will give name get reference client script. I have selected the incident table, then uh, the type should be on load, or you can change uh, uh, use as a on change also. So, here I want to write the script. Here we will take one variable where user is equals to then after glide form g underscore form dot get reference here i want to fetch the data of caller so backend name of the caller that is caller underscore id then after here we have to write the callback functionality for example i will use here populate email after that, we will call this function here, function populate email in bracket user. After that, we open the brackets. Now here we have to write info message g underscore form dot add info message here I can write this like the caller caller's email is or space I can use like this after here we have to write user dot email let me check Caller email is yes. Now we will save this form. Now we will go to the incident table whether our functionality is working or not. Now let's check it. Yes, our functionality is working. So if I select here the caller person itl user then the caller's email id has been populated itl at the rate example.com so with the help of uh, get reference we can fetch the backend data into the front end using get reference so we know there are three methods to fetch the data from backend to front end the first one is g underscore scratchpad using display business rule second one is 
glide ajax and this is the third one method which is get reference thank you